Yeah. Saturday morning, the BBC was for kids. Multicolour Swap Shop was a groundbreaking programme. There'd never been a Saturday morning programme on the BBC that ran for three hours without a script. If you had a toy that you wanted to swap, you could phone in and swap it with someone else's toy, which is a brilliant idea. Would you excuse me a moment? I want to take a phone call. That'd be all right. Let's have a, a call to Linda Baker. Hello, Linda. Hello. Good morning. What can I do for you? I'd like to make a swap. Noel Edmonds, it was this sort of terribly avuncular gentleman. He always had cosy jumpers and he always looked as if, you know, he had a plate of scones never five feet away from him. Right. Where about you, Linda? Hi, Wickham. He was a safe pair of hands. He was like David Seaman in the Saturday morning slot. Um, and, and you couldn't help but like him, really, but he, he was a bit soft around the edges. This part of the world I know very well. What are you offering? Um, fabulous hair crimper. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Noel Edmonds at the time, it was, you know, was brilliant. You had John Craven, who seemed like a really cool, wacky guy. I haven't got my script. <laughs> I was used on Newsround to having scripts, you know, every word was scripted. Oh dear, ill-prepared today I was. No, not that script, Tony. And here I was in the middle of this informality uh, and having a ball. Right then, can you do the next thing and I'll come back to it? Well, I would have thought... Is um, it possible? I would have thought it was quite possible to go to the top ten board right now. Would you think that was a distinct possibility? It's taken us an awful long time to get to where we are today. In fact, it's taken five hours, hasn't it? It had um, the squeaky clean Maggie Philbin and the cheeky and irrepressible Keith Chegwin. While we were on the train coming down from the Swap Shop studio, we discovered that we'd both been to this part of the world on holiday. You could tell there was a bit of a thing going on with Cheggers and filming at that time. Probably you would nick my beach ball and nick my ice cream corner and all the things like that. No, no, would I do a thing like that, Keith? I think you would, Maggie. <laughs> I think once I phoned in and said, I've got a naked Pippa doll. Uh, can I swap that for a rocking horse? Didn't get anywhere.